Today's video, we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. So the question is coming to Tour Down Under. We've got a question here from a 20 year old lad from Scotland. A lot of people come to Adelaide. A lot of people come to Adelaide because of my recommendations over the years. It's, it's been a lot. I've seen the videos over the years, people have moved here even from US, other parts of Australia, come here during Tour Down Under, which is January, which is like the best month to be here, come for Tour Down Under, and they've stayed, or they've just come back, you know, and they've maybe they've stayed in one of my tents here, <laughs> Natasha's one of those people, um, or they just, they, just, they just fucking love it here, yeah, they just love it here, Adelaide is the best city in Australia to live, nothing compares in my opinion, if Adelaide didn't exist, I wouldn't live in Australia, I'd just live in Thailand, you know, I'd live in Thailand. And Adelaide is, is boss, the best place to live in Adelaide, in my opinion, is the eastern suburbs. You're close to Norton Summit, Green Hill Road, Corkscrew, Woodlands Way, Cherryville, Fenhurst, you're close to the city. It's just, it's so convenient, you're even close to the beach, really, 12k from the city to the beach. You've got world class, world class beaches in Adelaide. Port Adelaide is the only port in the world that has a resident community of dolphins. And as a special place, Adelaide produces more elite level cyclists than any city on the planet. So that's from BMX, time trial, downhill, road, Paralympians, women's, men's, juniors, masters, etc. The sun in the Adelaide air. Okay, we've hyped it up. The Tour Down Under is the best race in the world to watch if you're a cycling spectator. Why? Because it's the only race in the world that starts as one hotel for the whole week. All right? And it's just, it's just so local, it's so accessible. I've watched the Tour of California and it's sort of. It's cool, but it's not as accessible as South Australia's tour down under. Um, it's incredible. The pros, this is the fucking best race of the year. It is incredible. It's better, than, it's better than the Tour de France, in my opinion. It's easier to watch than the Tour de France. And I've watched the Tour de France twice in 2001 and in 2003. And it was fantastic. I love riding around France. But you have to be really fucking fit to do that, to be able to... I was doing more Ks than the stages were doing every day. Uh, I rode more, tour, more miles watching the Tour de France than the races were doing. But it was a great experience. But Adelaide, man, you can just ride from stage to stage and it's really cool. You can have your Airbnb in the city or eastern suburbs or down Glenelg if you like, down by the beach and then get it done. Or if you're on a total budget, you can just camp out in the parklands. I know pl I've had plenty of people, backpacker guys, bike packers, they're camping at Mount Lofty, camping at Moriata, they leave no trace, no mess. That's the one number one thing of camping is you leave no trace, you know. You don't leave any plastic laying around, all right? Plastic, can't leave any plastic laying around. And uh, so yeah, you don't need any money for accommodation. You know, there's plenty of homeless people in South Australia, you know? They don't have any money for accommodation. Why do you need money for accommodation? That's, that's, a, that's a big thing. Oh, I can't afford to stay in Australia. It's like, uh, you, if you've got the ticket, you can afford to be here, pretty much. As long as customs let you through. <laughs> say you watch one during orders videos. Where you staying, mate? Yeah, I'm just gonna camp out in the street. So you can do that for sure. Uh, Airbnb though, for most people are going to go Airbnb. But people who want to camp, man, people, you can ride, I've ridden across Australia just camping out. Fine. Anyway, best place to stay is Eastern Suburbs Adelaide. Uh, there's a lot of camping, there's a lot of Airbnb, there's a lot of share houses, etc. Um, earning income while you're in Australia. Someone says, okay, I want, I want to come for two down under. It's, it's sort of chilly this morning. I've had any caffeine or nothing. I'm just like, Pfft. Don't use caffeine, use cold showers, use crisp air. Get your G'd up. So, you know, the cats are running wild. Cats don't need caffeine, do they? They will run around, cats and dogs. But uh, income. Okay, you want to stay past it under the... You've run out of money, or you want to... You want to you go, man, Adelaide's fucking boss. Adelaide's boss. Adelaide's the most livable city in the world in a Western place. I want to live in Adelaide full time, but I need Money. Money. And so I'm not a professional YouTuber, Harley. I'm a 20-year-old Scottish lad, and I want to live the dream. I want to do what you're doing. I want to be in Adelaide. I just want to check it out. I mean, I've had uni students who have transferred their course to go to Adelaide. You know, um, this guy a couple years ago, he was doing doing medicine, and he's like transferred to uh, Adelaide Uni. So he's medicine, medical stuff. So that was pretty cool. There's a lot of people come here because of the recommendations. It's, it's amazing <laughs> that I can make these videos from my backyard tent city 
and people from around the world come check out Adelaide. That's really that's really fucking awesome. That people rate, rate me on my uh, recommendations, and and no one disagrees. Once they're in Adelaide, they're like, yeah, this place is fucking boss. If you're in a cycling and running, this place is boss. It's is for a Western place to live. For me, nothing beats it. If it didn't exist, I'd live in Thailand all year round. Um. So income, you can be, you can get a job here straight away. If you just get a work visa first, all right? Get a work visa so you don't have to worry about any other faffing around. You can get a job here straight away. Instantly. Instant income. Collecting cans and bottles and bins. That's, that's, that's number one. See, I could do it 100 bucks a day. Easy doing that. You're going to work for it, but you can do it. So 100 bucks a day, you can grab it. Let's say you don't want to do that. Let's say you got, you're a bit of a snob. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Isn't it funny, people are like, I want a job, a basic, clean, hard-earned living job, but I don't want to collect glass and plastic bottles and bins that are clean. Then if you don't do that, then, you know, that's, <laughs> don't, don't, that's fine, don't do that, but don't complain about not having any money. That's what I'm trying to say. Next next job would be Uber Eats. Uber Eats, you being basically come to Adelaide be a professional cyclist. You've come to Tuna Under, watch the professional cyclists, you're never going to be at that level, for various reasons. Fantastic, kind, but you can still be a professional cyclist, being paid to ride every single day you choose to ride, and that's an Uber Eats rider. I see them every day. You see the Indians and the Pakistani community, and they're on these shitty bikes. They got the seat too low, and I'm always saying, "Hey guys, put your seat up a bit, bit, bit better for you." They're wearing jeans and a heavy jacket, and it's hot, and they just the chains are need greasing, and I'm just like, "Man, this guy's doing it tough," and girls doing it tough. I saw this Indian girl doing it on a, uh, on a beach cruiser. I said, you get yourself a nicer bike, you know, it'll be a lot easier. She's like, oh yeah. So hopefully she did, otherwise it's going to be struggle town. So that's the deal there, Uber Eats, instant job. Uber Eats, man. Most Aussies are too proud to do Uber Eats, you know? So if you're doing that, man, you're fucking killing it. You're fucking killing it. So you could do a thousand bucks a week, thousand bucks a week as a pro cyclist in Adelaide, all right? Don't have to pass any drug controls, don't have to train your ass off, don't have to be a certain weight. Don't have certain VO2 max, you don't have to risk your life in the downhills. Thousand bucks a week, only more that's more money than most pro cyclists around the world, actually. I'm just in the world too. It's more money than most all, all no no female cyclist out there is earning a grand a week. Unless she's uh, working as an escort or something. But uh anyway, that's the deal. The two and under fantastic place to be here. It is fantastic. Actually I think maybe Marion Voss earns a grand a week. Maybe. 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 Probably less. That's the deal. Adelaide, man. It is boss town. Any questions about that? Hit me up down below. In life, it's about if you want to fucking do something, you find a way. You don't have to fuck anyone else over. You just have to do it and fucking get it done. Right? People, but don't, people, people's pride prevents them from doing shit in their life. They're like, no, I don't want to be seen camping out or I don't, be, I don't want to be seen by my mates from high school as an Uber Eats rider. Okay, fine then. You work the job you hate, but it looks cool to your buddies that you don't even give a fuck about, or they don't even give a fuck about you. You do that. You know, my parents would think I'm a failure if I quit uni and become an Uber Eats rider. Great, so you live for your parents' dreams and ideals, and you resent the fuck out of them in 10, 20, 30 years' time, more than you already do now, because you're living their life, not your life. All right? If you want to be an Uber Eats rider, or if you want to be a lawyer, whatever you want to do, then you do that. All right? But do it because you want to do it, not because it looks cool, or your parents, or your ex-girlfriend, or your ex-boyfriend, you make them jealous, or blah, 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 blah. Don't live for life for anyone else but yourself, all right? And that's gonna make you more happy. And you won't need drugs to get through the day. You won't need to see any psychiatrists, or be any prescription medications to deal with your, your thought patterns, because you live in a fucking lie, or whatever, you know? Just live it real. Keep it real, above all. Keep it fucking real. <laughs>